So to start setting up our project, I'm going to have Unity Hub open and we're going to go over to new project. I'm going to be creating the project with uh, the newer version of the 2022 uh, editor, just so that we're using a modern version. And you have the option of choosing a new project with the basic built in 2D renderer or the 2D URP universal render pipeline. Um, so the main difference here is that if you want your sprites to have lighting at some point, then you would need to be using the universal render pipeline to support 2D lighting. But generally, I just default to using the universal render pipeline by default when I'm doing any kind of top down 2D game. So for the project name, let's call it gatherer top down RPG. And I'm just going to put it in my folder that holds all of the tutorial projects that I've been doing recently. So let's select that as the folder 2D URP and I'll create the project. So once again, the art pack I'm going to be using for this series is my own, the Gatherers Exterior Pack on itch.io. Uh, you can use basically any top-down tile set in any character you want. There are free options available if you take a look for them. And I have a complete demo that basically has all the mechanics that we're going to set up in this series included on that pack. For the series, so that I can demonstrate how you actually do everything, I'm going to be starting just using the art assets and nothing else. And then we'll go ahead and create all the scripts and prefabs and so on in the series to actually make those things happen, like moving around the screen and harvesting the different objects around your game scene. So if you do want to follow along with exactly the same materials, I'm going to be using the art only version of the pack, which only has the PNG sprite sheets. And then we'll build all of the other stuff that you see and what you would have in like the Unity project version of this asset. So with the downloaded art, I'm going to extract this to the desktop and not bring it into the project just yet. There's one extra step I want to do. So I'll just bring that there to the desktop and when we're ready we'll import it into the project because this is a pixel art pack so it's based on a 16 pixel by 16 pixel grid pixel art also shouldn't have any filtering set up so that it's not blurry when you're trying to show it inside of a unity game so what we can actually do is set up a preset for a texture importer so the easiest way to get the uh, presets to show up here in the inspector where we can edit them for a texture file would be to bring a actual PNG texture into here. So I guess I'll go into the gatherers explorer pack and let's just grab something from here. I'll just go into tools and let's grab a copper axe PNG and I'll just drag that in here. Okay, so now I can just for demonstration's sake, pull this into the scene and you'll see a couple things. First off, it's really, really tiny because the default Unity grid has 100 pixels by 100 pixels for every unit of game space. Also, if we keep zooming in, and I'm using middle mouse scroll to do this, so we can fix both of those by clicking on the PNG art asset, and you'll see that this is a texture 2D, and we need to change the settings here and then create a preset from it. So first off, to get rid of the blurriness, take filter mode and turn it to point, and down here for compression, turn that to none. If you hit apply, it should now be fixed. All the pixels should render crisply. The other thing, pixels per unit, is up to you. So the default is 100 pixels per unit. Makes it easy to understand for the art across your game in the sense that if you change the value by 0.01 .01 unit, then you know that that is one pixel or 0.1 is 10 pixels and one unit is 100 pixels. The pack I'm using gatherers exterior uses a 16 by 16 grid. So you might prefer to change everything to a 16 pixels per unit grid and hit apply. If you do decide to do that, you have to do it for all of the art assets across your game or things won't be scaled with each other properly. Uh, that's pretty easy to do with presets. But I think for this tutorial series, I'll actually just stick to 100 pixels per unit since that's the standard and it's probably easier to understand in terms of unit sizes. So let's hit apply and we'll just have a really big grid compared to the objects in our scene. So with these settings, let's create a preset from them. If you go to the top right hand corner of the inspector, you can click here where you have the two slider bars and you'll get the select preset option. So we want to create a new preset instead of selecting one from the non-existent list. So let's create a new preset. And in the assets folder of our project, let's create a texture importer. I'll call it 
pixel texture importer to be a little bit more specific. And this is saved as a dot preset. So if we save that, you can click here and you can see the same settings we set up here. So if you want to make this the default for any textures that you bring into the game, you can just hit add to texture importer default. Another place you can do it is if you go to edit project settings and then presets preset manager, you can add a default preset just clicking here, put in the type of preset you want to add a preset for. So this would be texture importer. And then you can select the preset from the existing list of uh, presets in your project. So if you click here, you can see the pixel texture importer as an option here. Or you can just click add to texture importer default, which is just a quick way of doing the same thing. So I'm going to remove the second option here. It is possible to set up filters here to have different uh, versions of your texture importer for like files that would be located in different locations or maybe have a different um, part of the file names, such as files that would be tagged in dash sprite sheet at the end could be set up with maybe a texture importer that imports sprites into sprite mode multiple by default. I'm not really going to get into that too much here. I think it's a little overkill for what we're doing. So we're just going to have one pixel texture importer just to have those default settings set up. So now that I have the texture importer defaults, I am just going to remove this game object, the axe from our scene and remove the axe copper PNG from the project. By the way, I'm sure you've noticed that my layout is a little different than the Unity default. So if you want to use the same layout, you can go to window layouts and I'm using wide right now, which obviously makes the scene and game viewer window uh, wide which works because we're going to be doing a widescreen resolution for the game by default. OK, so the next thing, bringing the art actually into the project, we can uh, minimize Unity. And I am going to just bring this entire folder over to the Unity. So the next thing we're going to do is actually import our art into the project. So I'm going to go to the desktop and I have gathers exterior extracted from earlier going to jump into it and we'll see that I have everything nested inside of an art folder and inside of the art folder is all of the uh, actual assets. So I'm going to drag this art folder into Unity. So just left click hold on the folder, Alt tab to switch back to Unity and drop it in here. So now we have all of the art files inside of here. So I'm going to right click and combine all of these into another folder just so that this art folder has a little more organization. So I'm going to right click here, create folder. I'm going to call it gatherers exterior, no spaces. And then I'm just going to select everything else here. And I'm going to put it into that folder. So let's just select everything and move it in there. Uh, this way with this project organization, if you add any extra art assets into the art folder, then they can be separated from this stuff over here. Okay, now we want to make sure that when we imported everything, it actually got the right settings. So I'm going to click here on one of the files in the project and just make sure that it is using the presets we just set up. So we can see filter mode is point no filter and compression is none. So the reason I wanted to set up the preset before we bring in the art is so that everything imports with the proper settings the first time and we don't need to manually change anything. So uh, we can confirm this is working by just uh, dragging one of these things onto the screen and We'll zoom in on it and just make sure that all the pixels are crisp and that there's no blurriness. And that's how we know we are using proper pixel art settings. So I'll just control Z a couple times and remove that. And we can just kind of go into the folders and just double check quickly, verify that everything is there. And once we've done that, we'll just move on to the next video.